How can you get bitten by a midge? It's middle of January for heaven's sake. Anyway, you alright guys? I've had a mail call. Good old Danny boy over there in Welsh Wales. Great vine allotment, great channel. Go and check it out. I'll put a link down below. Sent me some seeds. Now, I'm going to read these seeds to you. I thought I'm going to come up with a conclusion, okay? And we got baby boo pumpkins. Now, these are supposed to be very good. Little tiny ones, but 20 odd on a vine. And they go about 20 foot. So I'm looking forward to those. Um, a few tomatoes, we've got Heinz 1350. Now that is one of the original tomatoes that Heinz used when they first started. Lufa sponge, not sure I'll be able to grow that, we'll see, but I'm not sure I can get the greenhouse really hot enough to do it justice. And the rest of the seeds, now you'll notice a theme here. Cherokee purple tomato, purple tomato. Brad's atomic grape, and they're sort of a blacky red blacky red. Red Bull, Red Bull, Brussels sprout. Azure, blue kohlrabi, blue kohlrabi. Blue Hilda, P, uh, Blue Hilda beans, Blue Hilda. And Blue Hubbard squash. Now, thanks, thanks Danny, um, looking forward to growing these. Now, I sense that you must have one of the most colourful allotments in Wales, mate. So, look, I am really looking forward to growing these. They're already added to my list. They're on the time scale. And in fact, the loofah and the tomatoes will be going in in a couple of weeks. Right, today then, what we've got, a bit of a mishmash, really. It's not an awful lot. I'm going to show you some of the, uh, the seedlings poking up from what I did the other day. I've got to get some more seeds in these. I've got chillies. I've got peppers. Um, I've, I've done all my onions. done my leeks. Oh, aubergines. I've got a few aubergines. I've got four different types of aubergine. Not sure which ones to grow. I can't. I haven't got room for all four. The two that I did last year, um, Osbera 3, they had lots and lots of fruits, but small, like mini little cucumbers. They were nice. And then we got the popular one, Black Pearl. Bit bigger, nice black shiny fruit, but six or seven on a plant. And then I got two new ones, um, an orange one and a yellow one. So, an orange one and a white one, yeah, sorry. So I'm not quite sure what to do yet. Maybe I'll do a year, another year of trials, and then next year, pick me favourites. Right, I'm waffling. That'll do for now. Right. And I believe... Yep, 22 onwards, so 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And I'm not getting me a proper planting station out for this, just a little trade I'll do. And you've seen me do this so many times. Levington F2S again in the Agrilan. Okay, then, so we have. And I'll read these out and then I can get on with it. So, Aubergine Turkish Orange, Aubergine White Casper, Hot Chili Pepper Patio Fire, um, Long Red Marconi Sweet Pepper, Rooster Spur, Orange Ghost and Spaghetti Chilies. So uh, I'll bring you back when I've done. Oh, well, there we are, and that's them all in. A little bit of uh, fine vermiculite on top. A 
There we go. All done, and that will be upstairs in the Vitapod in a few minutes. And I'll save that. at a nest well it's me again guys another male drop and this time oh I can't see what I'm doing I know what this is oh yes the potatoes brilliant Bridge End Garden Centre up in Scotland can't fault them fantastic company Right, I'm going to whip these out quickly. So, second oldie, second early Vivaldi. God, there's a lot in here. I'm not going to go through all these. Yeah, we'll gonna check these in a minute. Right, so what have I got this year then? International kidney out of stock. I knew they were. I knew they were going to be, but I ordered them anyway just in case they had any. Um. Winston first early, Charlotte second early, which I'm not going to tell you about because that's for the competition. Nicola Vivaldi, um, Marfona, Pink Gypsy. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. All right, guys, here we are in the um, Vitapod upstairs in my back bedroom, which is also the food studio. <laughs> And we've got the um, onions at the back there. And the only ones that haven't germinated are the Red Brunswick. That's a bit weird because these ones, they popped up within three days. Um, chilies. They're all showing, as in some of them are all showing. So not too bad. And there's the ones I just planted this morning. Wee, aubergines and a few more chilies. I just noticed as well. Let me just uh, gently. We've got a little ladybird <laughs> overwintering. I love the Vitapod. The only thing wrong, my design flaw with the Vitapod is these brackets that hold the lights up. When they're held on by suckers and they rest on the lip underneath. Well, the suckers don't last long so all I had to do I had to drill through and uh, put a nut and bolt through a machine screw and a bolt through yeah in fact that's probably better than, than the original design <laughs> okay guys that's me done um catch you soon and while we're up here just before I go just below the Vitapod is the fridge full of the um Seed potatoes that I've saved from last year. In fact, these are nearly all condor, I think. Yeah, nice in there. Two degrees, two degrees for storing. Then up to five degrees, ready for chitting, and then chitting properly, if if they need chitting. Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Love it. Fridge. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm off.